Okay, uh, hello, it's Mr. Q7, and in today's video, basically, I had a thought, and that thought was, bas that thought was, is that you have RAM disks, right? And then you have GPU RAM disks, which is just a RAM disk, but on video memory. And I already covered, uh, me talking about GPU RAM disks, uh, and honestly, I don't even remember, I think the numbers were impressive or whatever. But, well, I was loading 8K video from a GPU RAM disk, but today's video, I'm going to speed test the two. So I'm going to see how, uh, how, like, fast both of them are. And so I'm going to start with Crystal Dismark, and then I'm going to try just copying an 8K, uh, video file that I have. Uh, now, so basically the way I have it is R is the RAM disk of system memory and S is the one of video memory. I just chose the next letter. Um, and it's five gigabytes for each. And then uh, I'm just using a four gigabit test file, or is it Gibby bit? I don't know. But anyways, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start the uh, Crystal Dismark benchmark and see how fast this is. So again, this is the normal system memory RAM disk. And I guess I could also do one on my SSD. I'll do that too, to show off performance compared to the SSD. You know, we'll do that one first. The SSD, so we can get like a baseline. Actually, no, no, I changed my mind. We'll do my hard drive RAID first. And this is six two terabyte 7200 RPM Seagate drives on a RAID zero with Intel RST-E as the RAID controller, it's just built in my motherboard. I do have an LSI RAID controller, but buying the cables to connect the drives, I don't feel like doing. <laughs> so, also, I mean, like it's built into my motherboard, might as well just use it. So, as you can see here, I mean, this is the six hard drives in a RAID zero, and I, it always really surprises me how slow it is compared to like I don't I don't know what the deal is why it's so slow I don't know if it should be higher or not but yeah like 150 megabytes per second read writes not anything insane uh but I I just have it all striped in RAID zero for capacity not speed for speed I have an SSD so I mean yeah uh. Yeah, 1.25 megabytes per second. Uh, what is this one again? IOPS. I don't know what that the last one even is. I don't even remember what the tests are. I know this is sequential. That's it. I, I like. I don't know if these numbers are good or not, but I guess we'll see once I do my SSD. And, I mean, obviously you should be able to tell like what SSD is it's supposed to be. Um, then also, oh, I just realized I'm going to drop frames because I'm also recording to the hard drive while hitting it with a stress test. So, so far I've only lost 0.2% of my frames, but yeah, that's, didn't, didn't really think of that. Yep, just drops more frames. Uh, that's when it's hitting it. Um, no, but yeah, the write speed, I'm surprised how good the write speed is compared to read, but that might be because I do have caching enabled. So, like, it might, that number might be from cache, but you think if it was, like, entirely cache, it'd be a lot higher. Uh, yeah, drop, drop in more frames, dropped around 1.2% now. Are we done with the test? Okay, we are. Okay, so that was sequential. 147 reads, 329 writes, which is kind of odd, but whatever. Random, 4 kilobit bit depth, I think. Yeah, not very impressive numbers, especially when, well, I mean, you'll see what an SSD looks like. And I'm not really too sure what these mean and what's good and what's not, to be completely honest. I know IOPS is like, operations per second or something but yeah well let's go ahead and go over to my ssd now and then do that and then we'll see uh we'll see what's up
So it just has to make the test file. And obviously the SSD is going to do a lot better. And I'm interested to see how the difference between a RAM disk and a uh, SSD is. So I mean, obviously, you see, we got 150. We're getting like 10 times that on the SSD because it's an SSD. Uh, all right, well, right off the bat, we're doing 10 times better. Let's see if that holds true throughout all of it. Also, the random thing should be doing better now as well. Do a lot better. Random read. Yeah, the random should do a lot better. Yeah, see, you can see it's way better. And the reason for that, I'll explain it, uh, is because to find random pieces, little bits of information, instead of a hard drive which has to manually move the read and write head around the spinning disk to find it, an SSD, since it's all just little cells, it can instantaneously access them. Well, not like instantaneously, but way faster. So that's why using an SSD just makes things feel so much more snappy and responsive. Uh, yeah, 915 writes, so like three times the hard drive raid. Which, I mean, uh, the hard drive raid wasn't that bad. Like 300 megabytes per second writes is, you know, perfectly reasonable, especially for hard drives. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, the other numbers seem to be a lot better. I mean, like for example, this one. Before it was like the bar was like here, now the bar is like all the way over here. So I'm gonna guess that whatever that number means, the SSD is better, which would make sense. And there we go, 77, ooh, 81 actually. Let's see, those bars are a lot higher than the hard drive. But then now we'll see how it fares against uh system memory and I, I spent a little bit of time reading up on the subject but uh basically supposedly system memory is slower than vram like vram's faster than system memory but the reason they don't use vram for system memory is because of the cost which would make sense uh so uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much see whether VRAM or normal RAM is better, at least as a RAM disk. Now you are also limited by the software, because you know the software is only so good. Especially this is freeware. This is no professional solutions I'm running. Uh, but yeah, that was SSD. Now we'll try the first RAM disk, and then we'll see what the numbers are like. Now. Something to note is that if latency, let's say you're doing something really important to latency, which I don't actually know what you'd be doing, but with RAM, latency is is like practically non-existent because it's that's that's how system memory works. Okay, so for the read speeds, I believe we're getting like 1500 on the other one. So honestly, like a little bit slower than an SSD. Again, I think entirely limited by the software, not hardware. Uh, but yeah. And as for the RAM hard software using uh, MDisk, that's why I'm using MDisk, and then GPU RAM drive. So that number is even higher like that bar's higher. These two look to see will be the same. This looks this definitely looks higher. Uh the random numbers, which would make sense because I mean again, system memory. It's gonna it's just so high performing, but also so expensive. Oh also I should note that my system memory it's running in dual channel at twenty four hundred megahertz because I bought cheap RAM and that's as fast as it'll go. And then for my GPU, uh, 6,801 megahertz on the memory. I don't have it overclocked at all. 2070 Super, uh, a gigabyte, the gigabyte WinForce, the one with three fans, to be specific. Uh, so those write speeds look, those are double 
the SSD. Uh, and then these numbers seem really high. Oh, these are the IOPS. Yeah, I it makes sense that RAM can do a crap ton of IOPS. That's that's kind of impressive. Forty one thousand, forty two thousand. Man, I'll have to look back at this in in uh, editing, and then like uh, look at go between the results and look at them, because they kind of fade away when you know like go to the next one. We'll go ahead and uh, do it on the uh, video memory now. See how that works. See if uh, we're still getting some pretty crazy numbers. And again, this should... Holy Jesus. <laughs> 5 gigabytes per second. Oh my god. Okay, so that either tells us... I think that tells us that the software I'm using for the RAM disk, the normal one, might be limited, Might be the limiting factor. Because I, I don't know, though. Cause is VRAM just really that much faster? Like, that's kinda crazy. Um. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Third, 133,000 IOPS. Oh boy. 547 megabytes per second random. Oh wow. Okay, so it seems like if you need a freaking fast RAM disk, go ahead and buy a video card with lots of video memory. Like, I don't know, go buy, what, I think it's the Tesla cards, that they have like no display outputs, but they have a fair bit of video memory. Like, I think you can get ones for like, you can get ones with like 32 gigs of VRAM. Uh, I just don't know if they're as fast. I, don't know, I, I just saw the cards on eBay. 80 gigabytes per second right oh my god this stuff is speedy um but yeah if, if you really need something like eight gigabytes per second almost nine gigabytes per second right speeds then yeah go, go buy a freaking video card and run a ram disk on it now obviously i would never run a ram disk on my video card in actuality, or at least not my main ones, you know, games need it instead. But like, I don't know. Again, I could see, I could see somebody getting a twenty, like getting getting a video card for gaming, and then uh, and then going and oh, I lost my train of thought. Buying a video card and then going and buying like one of those Teslas for cheap on eBay, though I guess not right now, because nothing's cheap on eBay in video card terms. But like, once all that comes down, going and buying one of those Teslas and just using it as a RAM disk, that would be pretty crazy. And then you could use that to like, I don't know, you could, you could use it for whatever you'd need really fast speeds for. If you got a 32 gigabyte one, I mean, depending on a game, you could probably install a whole game on that. Which I guess I could test that, but I don't I I don't have really the video memory to do that because I have a 1063 gig that I use for encoding, but it only has three gigs. Like it'd have to be a pretty small game. Okay, so now that now that we have these speeds, I'm gonna close that out, open file manager, and I'm going. I have copied a an 8k video file so i'm going to and this is on my ssd i'm going to paste it to the first ram disk okay so one around one gigabyte per second let's try the video memory one and this might be limited okay 1.3 okay so one point around 1.0 and then around 1.3 uh and then i'm going to try copying it from here Going from RAM disk to video RAM disk. Oh, there's enough space. Delete that. Paste that. Actually, it's slower. 
Interesting. So now I'll delete it from this RAM disk. Try going the other way. Okay, so we we are up high and then it slowed down. That's very interesting. I was getting more consistent speeds on the SSDs, but going from RAM disk, video RAM disk, the normal RAM disk, it was faster. I was thought I think I saw it like 1.5 gigabytes per second. And then let's try it. Let's try going from video RAM disk to uh. Yeah, let me just delete this real quick. Going to SSD. Okay, so we saw pretty much the exact same thing as this RAM disk. Alright, well, we got our results. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, my verdict is unless you have some explicit need for a RAM disk, don't bother just buy an SSD. I bought a one terabyte one for a hundred dollars. It's not that much in PC parts terms. And like, although yeah, right now I'm only I ha I had 28 gigs, like a weirdo, not 32. And I could put 64 gigs in my current system. And I mean, yeah, if you did have like 64 gigs of RAM, you could make a RAM disk. Cause like, no game's gonna use that much. Uh. Yeah, I just don't see it as viable. One thing, one thing that I guess you could do is, for example, I have a server uh, in my house that has 76 gigs of memory. So I guess I could make a 70-ish gig RAM disk on there and just have it as a network drive. Uh, you know, network share the RAM disk. Uh, but then you'd be limited by your networking speed, because, I mean, standard gigabit is 125 megabytes per second. You'd have to get, like, a 10 gig link, which I don't have. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> bottlenecks all around. That's really, that's really the final point, is no matter what you do, there's always going to be a bottleneck. For me right now, I don't know. I guess I'd say graphics. I have a 2070 Super, but my 9900K almost is always not the bottleneck like a few games like for example forza horizon 4 i think my like both of these are usually pegged at 100 yeah i'm gonna stop talking now this video is kind of long thanks for watching bye bye